Today I'm going to show you guys illustrator shape functions that are really going to boost your graphic design workflow using Adobe Illustrator. In today's video, I'm going to show you shape tool function illustrator, mainly illustrator CC, that are really powerful and are going to save you time in your graphic design workflow. So the first function is a setting that you can turn on or off, and it's going to help you lay out shapes perfectly aligned with equal distances between them. Locate your Adobe Illustrator preferences, and then head over to the Smart Guide section. You want to activate the alignment guides, and of course you can change the colour of your guides to fit your artboard or the design work that you're working on. So when I then go to move a shape in relation to other shapes, not only is Illustrator going to tell me when the objects are in line, but they're going to be arrows with a measurement telling me when they're equally spaced apart. I can then press Command or Control D to duplicate the last process and make equal distance shapes across my entire artboard. The next powerful Illustrator shape tool functions are going to be using the transform window in Illustrator CC. You might not know these functions and they're really really useful. So follow along and see if you know these tool functions already and just how handy they really are. Press M on your keyboard to locate the rectangle tool and then hold down shift and click and drag to generate a perfect square. Now you can go ahead and open up the transform window tool here. The settings and tool functions will change with each different shape that you select. So with the rectangle we can first see we have quick access to the rotation tool, as well as the slant and distort option here. We can quickly change the size of the square with whatever measurements your current document is using. If you then unclick the chain icon, it will not change both dimensions in proportion. We can also edit how curved the corners are, and again, if you uncheck the chain icon, you can actually change a single corner independently of the other corners. If you click scale corners, it doesn't matter how large or how small you scale down your square or your shape, the corners are going to stay relative. And finally, we can change the shape's position precisely with the top settings here. Next, we're going to be looking at the Polygon tool in relation to the Transform tool function. So click the artboard and type in a number of sides you want on your shape. If you now look in the Transform window, the settings are totally different. We can quickly edit the number of sides on our shape, despite already having generated it. So as with the previous shapes, we can change the size with precision, as well as edit the roundness of the corners. However, this time we can also invert the roundness on the polygon shape, which is pretty cool. The Direct Selection tool can also be used to edit live corners in Illustrator CC. So for the next powerful Illustrator Shape tool function, let's create a circle shape by accessing the Lips tool with L on your keyboard. Something that is really really handy and cool, especially for infographics and diagrams, is the ability to colour weird degrees of a circle. A kind of slice of the pie. So I've cut away 60 degrees of the circle, but I can also invert it here so I'm left with 60 degrees. As with the other shapes, we can edit the size of the shape and the location precisely with an illustrator. So there's a quick video on powerful illustrator shape tool functions. Tomorrow's video is something requested by many people, 
and that is me showing you guys how I designed this artwork for my Satori Sans font using Adobe Photoshop. So be sure to tune in for that tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed today's video on shape functions in Adobe Illustrator that are really powerful. Let me know in the comment section below and also like this video if you did find it useful. Subscribe to Historic Graphics for graphic design content uploaded every single week. Today I didn't have enough time to record an intro and an outro in my normal setting, so I'm here outside of my house. Next week's going to be back to normal, so until then, design your future today. Peace.